Hi everyone, I'm V. Welcome back to Soul Cops AMA. Today's title is Creators Meetup. Thank you for your continuous support to Soul Cops, our NFT project. As announced earlier, today we're going to tell some very exciting news. First one is about the pre-sale minting price and then also the public sale price. Second, we are going to tell about uh, a bit about the Soul Cops lore. And then the third, we're going to reveal our second companion as an airdrop. Okay, stick around until the end of our AMA because we'll tell you how to claim your AMA badge. Okay, let's, um, let's introduce you to some of our team here. We have Irzan, our tech advisor. Hello, Irzan. Hey, V. Hi, everyone. It's Irzan yeah. here. Nice to have you here. Last week, you weren't feeling so well, so it's good to have you back. Yep, got my donuts right this time. Good, awesome. Next, we have Nofrizal, our lead marketing. Hi, Hi Nofrizal. Hi, V. Hi, everyone. Mm -hmm. How's it going? Healthy? Oh. You you just Always. got well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Almost dropped also, but uh, still okay, still okay, all good. It means that you work a lot. <laughs> yeah, a bit, yeah. Gotta, gotta remember to rest. Of course, okay. Of course. <laughs> Next we have UD, our creative designer. Hi, UD. Hello. We still can't hear you. Just like last week. Wanna try again? It's okay. You can try again later. And then next, Chris Lee, our head of creative. Hi, Chris. Hi, V. Uh, how are you, everybody? Yeah. Thanks. Uh, thanks for being here. I know you're pretty busy. <laughs> But, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I really appreciate <laughs> that you, you have the time to, to be with us tonight. And then Rob, our head of commercial, how's it going? Hi, V. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hi. Always good to have you here. And then, Hello. Oh, Can yes. you hear me now? Ah, yes. Yes, UD. Hi, UD. Yeah, yeah. Hi, everyone. Okay, <laughs> we, can, we can hear you very well. And then uh, Mohsarm, a.k.a. Mohtar Sarman, our head retail and merchandising. Hello, good evening, Mr. Mohtar. Mm. Am I the only one who can't hear? Maybe you can check the mic later. We can't hear you. It's, it's fine. Um, or maybe you can mute and mute, or if not, then log out, log in. Okay. So um, we have some other uh, team members joining. I'll introduce you later if, if they are in. Um, there, some of them are in the meeting. So um, yep, let's. Oh, we have. Well, oh. Hi. Ah, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. We can All hear right. you. Yeah, we can hear you perfectly. That's amazing. All right, sorry about that. There's something wrong. I don't know, but uh, hi everyone. Hi V. Hi all the chiefs. Hi. Everybody. So glad to have you here tonight. I'm glad to be here. Uh, well, well, it's it's night for us, <laughs> and um, maybe some or not. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's get let's get started right away. Um, first, as I mentioned earlier, the first topic would be about the minting price. I will give this opportunity for our chief, Rob. Well, uh, this speech is yours. <laughs> right. Thanks. It's. Uh, <laughs> I thought the minting price will be uh, on 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 the last uh, you know topic, okay. but it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, if you want, it's fine. Right. If you want, I can go yeah, to the. Let's uh, let's, let's do the 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 minting price. You know, just just for the element of surprise to to be the last. To be the last? No problem. Right. No problem. <laughs> okay. Okay. We want to make sure. Everyone stays until the end, right? Yes. <laughs> That's the game. All right, no worries. Um, second, well, second becomes first topic then. It's the lore. So uh, Chris Lee and, and Sunny Go, our project manager, he'll be joining soon, um, have, uh, have sent me the lore. 
and they wanted me to read it. You guys ready? Yes, okay. we are ready. Yay! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> this is the Soul Cops lore. The research of cybernetic technology powered by alternative nuclear energy had been developed since the early 20th century by countries and corporations around the world. The tech was applied in the military and achieved some success in different level. In the 80s, some countries started their experiment in their police departments, replacing the missing human limbs and enhancing their strength and speed. While confidential, the experiment was successful and the development was incrementally fast since then. The first batch of soul cops was publicly introduced four decades later, becoming the backbone of law enforcement since then. Many countries have their own soul cops, but the number is still very limited. Now in the 21st century, Hexagon, a giant multinational tech corporation secretly sought a centralized government that only they could control. Hexagon's efforts could only be thwarted by soul cops who fight for people's freedom. The great war between soul cops and Hexagon has started. There you go. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? <laughs> okay. There you have it. The soul cops lore. Next. Maybe uh, Chris can elaborate more uh, about the story. See, what do you think? Yeah, sure. Why not? Chris, yeah. Okay. Can you tell? Uh, us, yes, more yeah. details, maybe, or you know, your take about the story. Okay. Uh, so when uh, when we uh, started this IP years ago, uh, we've been uh, trying to connect the development of the soul cops technology to real historical events uh, in the world during the 20th centuries. So that's why the early development of the technology was started in the early 20th century. And uh, since then, uh, many countries and some corporations uh, in the world, they tried to develop their own uh, cybernetical technology. And they secretly, secretly basically applied it, it to, for their own uh, purposes. Some are good and some are not that good. And uh, of course, our government uh, tried to m use it as a a tools to help the the wounded soldiers uh, or police who lost their limbs in the uh, in their duty to basically to give them uh, this, their second chance basically in their life. So the technology was used as a more at first as more like, like a medical use. But then they start to see the potential to become more than that, which is actually their the additional cybernetic limbs can will give them can give them uh, more strength and also more speed. So since uh, their experiments went well. So they started to explore and uh, develop more on that uh, for that reason and for that purpose, basically to enhance uh, the military and police uh, to fight uh, basically criminals. So, and um, <clears throat> those, those, those experiments were successful 
and then of course it's not just the good guys who's using the technology hexagon as a uh, technological technology com- corporation also uh, has the tech the same technology has the has their own uh, research and development and they started to apply their technology in for their own u- uh, purposes and some of them are try uh, are weaponizing the criminals and uh, mercenaries or uh, outlaws or terrorists to do uh, things that will beneficial to the hexagon so uh, at first they did it secretly but then of course uh, some people started uh, people started to know to know and then basically uh, hexagons also getting more greedy and then they don't really do it secretly <laughs> uh, they, uh, at all and then of course uh, they start to weaponize many like thousands of uh, terrorists and then the soul cops was is out uh is out number and that's why we need you to to join us so we can have um, more soul cops to fight the hexagon so basically that's the more detailed explanation of the uh lord of the soul cops Awesome, awesome. Thank you, Chris, for the very elaborate explanation. Yeah, um, I try try not, not to spoil that much because we still have a lot of details of the stories. Of course, uh, mm-hmm. those stories, those detailed stories, can be uh, read can be read let, later on on the comic comic books. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. Okay. So cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and um, it, it relates to our roadmap, right? When um, the 25% sold roadmap and it's going to, we're going to have that contest about yes. the story. And the winner yeah. of that contest will get their character included in the comic. Yes, that yes. Nice? yes. Sounds nice, right? So, yeah, the, the first issue script of the comic is, is almost done. So we we will start the... Uh, the production of the comic actually like really soon so uh, if you guys have stories from your from your characters I think it will be great uh, for us and also give us a lot of ideas and also uh, with the lore that we just uh, explained just now you can put your characters in in, in the in the main frame of the story basically yeah okay um yeah that's that's awesome thank you chris uh sg sunny go can you i invited you up can you can you go up now he's he's down at the audience accept you need to accept he'll come up soon um okay Let's get to it. Next, um, companion. Are we ready? So the last time we we said um, the the last AMA, we shared you a sneak peek of uh, one of the Soul Cops companion. It was the the dog, right? We're gonna give you the second companion. And um, yeah. If we're ready, we're gonna share it to you soon. What what would what would be the what would be the animal? First was the dog, right? What would be the animal for a soul cops companion? What do you think, guys? Any guess? A frog. A frog. <laughs> maybe okay. Maybe a goat, maybe. Maybe. Monkey, hamster. Yeah. No, no offense, just just wrote hamster. <laughs> <laughs> a hamster, like Robo hamster. 
That's actually pretty cool. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Uh, you know, you can go into pipes and be a spy. <laughs> what do you think, Mr. Mohtar? An owl would be awesome. An owl, I agree. Uh, we have the land companion, maybe some something that could fly. Maybe. Or maybe squid. something a that can from swim. The ocean. Squid. Or maybe yeah, something in the water. <laughs> a squid game. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, read up, ready to reveal. I think um, Bishop is going to reveal it soon. Just so ready, so excited. Come on, I'm like now. So okay, yes, Bishop, yes. let's Sorry. do it now. Now, now. <laughs> um, I'm Where's the check? Where's the check? In a, in a sneak peek chat. Oh, Hang on a right. little bit. We want All to right. make you wait a little bit longer. Yes. <laughs> oh, I think it. there it is. it is. There it is. There it is. Yes. There it is. Where? Yes, <laughs> in the sneak peek. Right. And, uh, the eye, the, the two eyes. Oh, go there. Yeah. Um. Oh. Sunny, yeah. can you? Wait, let me check if Sunny can come up. Let's do it. Did you guys see it? So what you guys think? Give it, give, give comments on general. I think you can, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The general. Oh, Muffin say it looks very cool. Thanks, Muffin. Like Ark Tang said, yeah, that's really amazing. Okay. So um, who who um, who made us the companion? Both companions. I think UD UD should Yudi. say something about Yudi. this concept. Tell us about it. tell us about um well you can tell us about the first companion, the dog, but uh, definitely tell us about the second companion. Go UD, go UD. <laughs> Let's go. Oops. Not yet. Not yet. You, you is always so cryptic, you know. <laughs> he has a lot of secrets. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Sunny's here, guys. This Hi. is SG. Is Sunny Go, our project manager. Hi, nice to have you here. Hi, hi, guys. Hi, hi. how's dinner? <laughs> yeah, sorry. It's Sleep fine. At home. It's fine. We gotta eat. We gotta sleep. We gotta stay healthy. Yudi, can you try your mic again? Wow, there you go. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. We just released it. Just after you go, just after you come up. Yeah, the eagle. Maybe Chris can can help uh, while Yudi is testing his mic. Tell us about the. Why well, Yudi always? Yeah, it's... yeah. <laughs> maybe last <laughs> minute. <laughs> Maybe last minute when we are oh, gonna say goodbye. <laughs> Just now it was fine, yeah. So yeah. is it from a mobile or desktop? I don't know. He he got a he, new. He has speaker. a very shy speaker. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he has a very shy speaker. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, mic. Sorry, he has a very shy mic. Mm. <laughs> I I think it's a sign for. Uh, give <laughs> Robbie to to get him a new computer. Yeah, man. <laughs> man. Oh, man. I actually, I already did that. We, we did that already. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's new PC. What the hell? Yeah. yeah. What do you think, Rob? We we bought like five for Yudi. Wow. <laughs> wow. I didn't even get one, guys. <laughs> but we thought Mike. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Just drawing pad, more drawing pads, and more monitors. Rob, come on! <laughs> Something with a good mic. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, like while we wait for mm -hmm. UD. Um. Yeah. So. Um. Uh, when we discuss about this uh, companion, we. Of course, we try to go with the more 
uh, like uh, um, common, you know, like the more common uh, animals companion that uh, the police use. Uh, so the first one is definitely the uh, canine. And then the second, uh, and also be because canine is, uh, is a the a land animal companion. So for the second one, we try to cover the the air basically. So we we go with uh, e uh with eagle, yeah. So I think the third one, um, is. It's gonna be exciting <laughs> because we already have the one in the land. We already have one in the air, and then of course, what is the third one? So, I think. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> I like the hamster yeah. idea. Hamster, yeah. Really, <laughs> no, I really, yeah. really, yeah. Something small, right? To be a spy. <laughs> I think I just said that earlier. Maybe. Oh, so. so... Yeah, I want. I want to ask maybe maybe uh, I don't know Rod or Sunny, um to to make it uh maybe people that don't follow last week AMA, so mm -hmm. can you clarify? So every whitelist member will get one of the companion out of four, or how 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 is how is it going to be rolled out? Okay, uh let me get this. Uh every. Please, uh, whitelist minter will get one companion per NFT at random. So you cannot choose. You'll get at random. You, you either uh, get the dog, the eagle, or the or the two other, two other yet to be released uh, companions. Yeah. For the non uh, whitelist minters, uh. You have to hold two NFTs, uh, so of NFTs, and you'll get an airdrop for two. Yep. Okay, so one NFT, one companion. So if you mint one NFT, you get one companion, random yes, if companion. You five. If you mint five, it means five companions randomly? Yes. That's a good bargain, right? Yes. That's, That's uh, pre sale only, yeah. Pre sale only. Yes. Yeah, yeah pre sale only. And the, if, if, if you're in public sale, you gotta have two first, then to get that one companion, yes. correct? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, other than pre-sale uh, minters, uh, you have to okay. hold two to get the airdrop. Okay. Uh, did we decide on how long that the those who who mint? Uh, sorry, those who buy on public sale, how long do they have to hold the two soul cups for until they get uh, the companion? No holding. So so we'll have a snapshot during the airdrop. So everyone who hold the the two uh hold two NFTs during the airdrop, they'll get they'll get one free. Okay. According to the roadmap, the snapshot should probably be done around December. December, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So in December we'll have the snapshot. Yeah. So yes. those who so those who got two soul cops in from public sale. They will be airdropped one yep. companion randomly. And those who minted, no matter how many they minted, they each get one companion airdrop for every NFT they minted. Correct? Yes. Okay. That's that's that sounds very good. Cool. Um yeah, we're just gonna open the QA sessions. Anytime you wanna um, ask a question, you can go up. And um, for Indonesian speakers, boleh tanya ke atas. Nanti saya coba translate ke bahasa Inggris. I'll try to help to translate your questions. Uh, and so, go ahead. For Germany native, yeah, for Germany also, also, Irzan can, can Irzan can translate Irzan. as well. Guys, <laughs> do you speak any other Everybody. languages? Maybe you can help. Maybe you can help answering. Oh, for Rob. Mandarin. For Mandarin, Rob can also translate. I Rob? Think. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Any so other language, guys? You can uh, Kazakhstan. No, Frizal can say can speak Kazakhstan. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's nice. Sorry. I'll give it to you, Frizal. Easy, so. easy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> For um, 
questions in Germany, Irsan can do that. It's it's taken care of, right? <laughs> Irsan? For sure. Ich bin bereit. Oh, look at that. Okay. Um, come on up. So while waiting, while waiting for um, anyone to raise their hand, oh, I'm going to explain. If you raise your hand, I'm going to invite you to speak, uh, to go up to the stage. Then you'll need to um, accept, accept my invite to go to the stage. So raise your hand. I'll invite you up and then you accept the, the invite. Okay. All right. While, while waiting, I just want to update you about our activity in Discord. We are, um, we are planning to make the divisions. Um, it's, um, it's part of our gamification in Discord. So we're going to divide the, um, all members into three divisions. This will relate to the future game that we're going to do. So we have the first division is the enforcement division. Second, the investigation. Third is the special ops division. So uh, all future missions will require each division to complete a stage. And then if one division fails to complete a stage, the entire mission will, f will fall, will, will just fail. So the thing is, uh, we are divided into three divisions, but we need to be united as one, one soul cops. So three divisions need to accomplish the missions all together. Not just one, but all three. There you go. Um, I think we already, uh, we already announced the division and you can choose. Um, when? When do you uh, roll out? We did, we did, we did uh, open the vote for majors and colonels because they're going mm -hmm. to be the leaders of the division. So we currently have 21 uh, majors and colonels. We wanted them to be distributed um, evenly so that they can lead the mission from each division. And then they're going to report to the commanders if the mission was accomplished and they're gonna report to us that who has been active, who, who has been contributing a lot in, in the mission. So it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome. I'm looking forward to this because um, uh, Dikata set this up. He made the awesome logo. Have you guys seen the logo of the divisions? Um. Yes. Yes, Rob did. Very cool. Yeah the the first of uh, the first division was um it's a, it's a lion. It's the enforcement division. The investigation division has the the. The orc in it, and the special ops division has the the wolf. Looks pretty awesome. Dikata did a great job. Yeah, Rob. Yep, it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, hi. We have Ara. Hi, Ara. I think. Yeah. Hi. Um, he's, um, he's our leader in, in marketing and community. So he's been working very hard, right? <laughs> to get us to influencers and dealing collaborators, with collaborators. Yeah, we, we are. Do you have, uh, some names we can just leak? Ara? <laughs> Might well, <keep> excited. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's classified for now, Ooh. but maybe uh, some days uh, we can leak some. Okay, looking forward, looking forward soon. Definitely, definitely. Cool. Nope, no one still want to ask questions. It's fine, we can just chat. Yep. Um, yeah. If you guys were in a, to choose a division, what would you choose? We have the, um, let me just read it a little bit. The first division is the enforcement. The enforcement division are like full of people with high dedication and courage. Anyone? Do you have dedication and courage? 
or the investigation. You have good logic and high intelligence. I think Irsan would be good in investigation, no? We got the service here. <laughs> and the last division is special ops. It's um uh they need to be tactical and wise. Who's tactical and wise? I think Rob is. Yes, I'm a wolf. You're very wise. No, no, I'm a wolf. <laughs> <laughs> You're quite tactical too. Hmm. A bit quiet. I, I like special ops. Yeah, Chris. Why? Why is that? I think it's cooler than the others. <laughs> really? Is it because of the the logo or the um, the the characters? I think the character, the job. Yeah. yeah, the job. Yeah, yeah. Tactical and wise. That's good. That's good. What about uh, Mr. Mother? I don't know. I like all three of them. You like all three? Because <laughs> you have all three elements. Yeah, you have all three elements. Tactical and That's wise. Choose, intelligent. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're everything. Intelligent, tactical and wise, and, uh, and brave. I, no, I don't say that. I'm a very visual person. I like the, I like the, the logos. You know, I like all, all three logos. So yeah. it's kind of hard to choose one, you know what I mean? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Yeah, and 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 every 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 animal has like the the object behind it. So it's the, yeah. the lion had the shotgun. Yeah, the orca had the, the magnifying glass. Well, it's a it's a definite investigation object, and the 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 wolf had oh I forgot is it the the shotgun? No, the the handgun. I forgot. How about Yudi? Maybe his mic is good now. <laughs> Go Yudi. Go Yudi. <laughs> Sunny, if you were to pick a division, Sunny. Which division would you choose? Oh, hey, Sunny. You, are you still eating dinner? <laughs> <laughs> I think he's with you, D. They're <laughs> both silent. I think they're, yeah. they're chatting. You have, you have the same mind. <laughs> <laughs> they're in the same room, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> no, Frieza, what about you? you... Ah. All three? Cannot choose. All three, all three. No, cannot. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Which one is your favorite, P? Uh, I'm in the in enforcement, the, the first one, the lion. Okay, I'm going right. to follow you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. All right. Oh, he's gone. I just called him and he's, he went down. I think uh, right. there is someone that raised their hand. No? Wait, wait. Uh, I no. invite. No, that's, that's high. I invited, oh, all right. I invited all right. the all right. coronals and... and hey. Majors. We we have another leak, no, uh, Mr. Chris. We have another leak for the legendary. No? Oh yes. Mm -hmm. you I want saw to it earlier. Show it now, or yeah, I saw it earlier, guys. I think, I think it's yes, yes. Yeah, it's worth to show. Uh -uh. Do you want yeah. to show it, Mr. Chris? Yeah. I. Is it now? <laughs> yes. Yeah. You just say Let's one, two, it. three, go. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, for this legendary, uh, we, I think we, uh, I'm going to do a little bit introduction and then you can, sh uh, after, uh, we, we can, we show, we show them and then after that, I will talk more about it. But, uh, what, like, what's the, what's the idea behind the design? But for now that the artwork that we're going to show, uh, now, it's uh, just the still image, but later on the legendary will be animated. So that's what I'm I'm gonna uh, uh, try to explain now because uh, so when you see it, 
imagine uh, imagine it's going to be animated la later on yeah yeah so, yes nice can i have it uh, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> unfortunately no, no. everything oh, will no. be randomized no. Yeah. Be randomized. no. I want to no have it. Yeah. <laughs> the team will get randomized. We're going to fight. Well. <laughs> so it's a fair game. Every The team members will also get randomized. Yes, everyone okay. will get the same. You just got <laughs> to sweep it once it's public. <laughs> yeah, so I think we can, we, can, we can preview it now. Yes, yeah. yes. I think Dikata. Bishop. Yeah. Or Dikata. Dikata. Oh, yeah, Dikata will help right. Philip. Where are we? Let's okay. go. Let's go. There we go. Drum it's, roll. It's up. It's up. Oh, Dikata, I forgot the the picture. Bro. Ooh, nice. Ooh. Do you guys see it? Whoa. Boom. What do you think in general, guys? Let let me know what you think in general. Ooh. Oh, two. Another one. Another two. One. So cool. That looks looks like awesome. Fashion. My goodness. Ooh. Yes. The eagle has spoken. Um, Chris, the eagle has this. spoken. <laughs> I like that. What did I just say that? <laughs> yeah, I, don't know. I thought it's it was just, just in my. Cool. I thought it was the in my head. Has <laughs> uh, Chris, uh, yes. tell us about this 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 first legendary. It's it's um, the weapons and the headgear and the what's the oh, wings? Okay. Well, that, so... that, that looks good with the eagle companion. <laughs> So basically, mm. uh, if you see the preview, there's a watermark there. Uh, basically, it's just a prevention. Uh, because of the design is really, like, we really make it one by one. Uh, each legendary oh. is diff totally different from the other legendary. And all... The elements, all the traits that in the legendary will not be in the other rarity. So it's very, very special. And uh, yeah, each of them, we really draw it one, uh, especially one by, uh, one by one. So since we have the chance to uh, explore ideas, for this legendary uh, rarity, we decided to get the ideas or the inspiration from uh, different culture, different myths uh, from different countries around the world. So as you can see, the first preview, if you can, I, I'm sure you can guess uh, that it's from the Egypt. So it's um, the the inspiration is from Horus. So we try to design a special soul cups that we imagine uh, he's uh, from Egypt. So their design is very different, and because he's a legendary, basically a general, uh, so he he has this very elaborate mm -hmm. and uh, awesome costumes uh, mm -hmm. special special f only for him so it's like in Egypt it's only one legendary Horus soul cup and the second one uh, also you can definitely guess that is uh, from Japan so the idea is from uh, samurai armor but we make it into uh the the essence of the samurai we make we make it into robot design so so that's how we 
uh, the idea behind the design of the legendary. So the others, the other legendary will be kind of similar. And of course, there's going to be uh, one from big mythology or big historic, uh, historical, maybe historical culture from, from around the world. So, yeah. I, I wish I can show you more, but uh, maybe next week <laughs> we can show more. Yeah. Maybe uh, UD or uh, Sunny has some additional comments on this legendary. I think Sunny has the internet connection a little bit off, mm. but uh, he'll 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 turn off the mic. He'll turn on the mic if ah, no. There. <clears throat> no, I good? don't have any because because you did everything. <laughs> I don't have any comments. I don't know. Yeah, it's okay. awesome. It's super awesome. Oh, it's, I want it's, one. Yeah. Are you speechless because yeah. of the legendary? <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy, right? Yeah. Can I have one mm. too? <laughs> yeah. Let's I, fight. Yeah. You can have the preview, but not the real one. You can have the one with the watermark. <laughs> yeah, the one with the watermark. And if you, and if you okay. mention it, we're gonna scam report you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll 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 make a. Mm -hmm. So again, uh, questions and answers are, are still open, guys. If you want to ask a questions, and for Indonesian Indonesian speakers, uh, silakan tanya. Nanti bisa saya bantu translate. Okay, don't be shy. Um, yeah, I think there's one last thing we need to announce. The most important announcement of all. Pricing. Me, I think. <laughs> no, <laughs> I did the lower. <laughs> So what do we need to do to get you to tell us? All right, guys. Uh, for the pricing, uh, for the minting price, uh, we understand that uh, Ethereum has, you know, has gone all time high for the past few days, and we understand that, uh, you know, uh, given the situation and condition, uh, we just wanted you to know that uh, our our main focus is still on the value of the. Uh, NFT itself or, or the IP itself, not just about the pricing, but uh, then again, we need to be more competitive. So after a long discussion and, uh, you know, uh, uh, we are uh, announcing that the price for uh, whitelist, whitelister or pre-sale is 0 0.068. Again, 0 0.068 plus gas. And the pricing for public sale will be 0 0.08 Ethereum. So once again, uh, the pricing for uh, pre-sale or whitelist is 0 0.068 and, uh, plus gas. And uh, public sale is 0 0.08 plus gas. That's about it, Fee. There it is. There you go, guys. So, um, yeah, because we earlier we had the the discussion, right, Rob? Um, we had the discussion with the leaders of the community, majors and colonels. We got your feedback and um, and also the survey. And then, um, yeah, after the meeting, that's it, guys. That's the that's the price. Thank you, Rob. Thanks. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, still no questions. Uh, yeah. If I you... think they are they are here for the leaks and for the price. Uh, so. <laughs> yeah, no, it's fine. It's it's fine. Uh, yeah. yeah. So if you guys don't mind, um, if after we end the session, if you um want to stay um for another fifteen or thirty minutes for the um, Indonesian speakers, I it's just about me recapping. Uh, what we talk about in AMA, and then maybe one or two questions if they have, and then I'll um, close it. Is it all right?
Yep. Did you get that? Yep. Yep. Oh, okay. Um, Hasbi is here. I'm going to invite him up. Ah. Has Hasbi is uh, Soul Cops IP creator. He's part of the creative team. Hey. Hi, Hasbi. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? Oh, fine. Thank you. Sorry, I'm Good. late. It's fine. Good to have you here, finally. Fine, did I hear me? Mm. I'm here. Yeah, we have revealed these. The second airdrop, the eagle, and then also Chris just um, talk about the legendary. Also, Rob just did the uh, tell us the minting price. Um, I have one question, has to be. Since you're the Soul Cops IP creator, um, yeah, I was wondering how did Soul Cops was first created. Uh, first of all. We make sure that there is uh, in all of the world. We know that we have a few police in the world. Okay, in every single of a uh, nation, only the few police in our nation. So it means that we need a community to help ourselves to be safe. Uh, let's say that if we being a pol, we need to be police by ourselves or by our family because. Sometimes police cannot uh, secure the society. Like uh, sometimes we have a few, like uh, what it's what is called. Okay, and then uh, I think because of Facebook make a metaverse, so it mean that this NFT is a symbol that you can be a policeman for your family and then and primary. Moreover, later will be enter the world of metaverse. So it's just like that. Hello. Thank you. Thank you for the the explanation. Yes. So we have um, the good side inside. I have each one of uh, us. Uh, yeah. I have a, I have a question just to continue uh, what um, Mr. Hasby just said about the Facebook move to the metaverse and the rebranding to the meta. I want to ask. I don't know whoever here. Maybe, maybe Mr. Mohtar or Irzan or Sunny. Uh, what do you think about the Facebook latest move is it going to be beneficial for us or to the contrary? What do you think, guys? I, I can take this one first. Yes. Let's go, John. No, no Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, uh, I think that's a it's a bold bold move by, by Zuckerberg. Sorry, branding Facebook to to Meta, right? And I think right now we are in the kind of age of web 2 we move all our activities are in the digital space from you know uh, checking stuff online and then uh, buying groceries buying food interacting even like learning and working all down through zoom and other stuff right um, as we see in the younger generations like our our kids our nephew our niece they've been in this space for long what they call as Roblox. And then uh, maybe what we know, there's another game that people are really crazy about in this metaverse. Fortnite, right? So I think it's been there all along. And it seems that this Web3 movement, this decentralized economy movement will be here to stay. And this is just like very, very, very early. And the signs are there. Uh, Facebook is launching, me launching Meta, rebranding themselves as Meta. Twitter is about to launch their NFT verification soon, right? And then we're seeing other moves from other tech companies. They're doubling down on this NFT and, and Web3. And I think it's going to be here to stay. And all of you guys, the ones who are in this space right now, the ones who are joining this call, you guys are seeing clear the future on how it looks like, how we can see there's a clear bridge of creators, community, and also a new world around it, how everybody could gain the benefit and building this new economy together. Because metaverse could only be there, not being built by one corporation or one organization, but it requires a whole efforts coming from this big community. It's built by everyone. So I think that's my take on it. 
That's really cool, Irzan. Cool. He he can replace Zuckerberg, I think, um, someday. Oh, <laughs> I don't doubt that. I'm really sure. That's I'm why we have you. <laughs> no, 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 please, no, please. That's why we have you here with the team. <laughs> no, Frizzle, you want to add something? No? No, I think Hasbi want to add something. Yes, Hasbi? Yeah, I think that uh, Soul Cup is not just a uh, brand, but I mean that we know that we we must be in the police by ourselves or by our family and community and society because of the metaphors it will be no boundaries maybe someday we'll we will know that if we using vr and then we can uh, share with other people maybe four or five people uh, five percent going to join the community and then we uh, we create a, like a bomb then when we know that that will be uh, um, maybe we they make a, a murder in the real life so being polish that we can share to the police in the real life this mean that uh, yes i mean we can be the police by ourselves our family and our society beautiful that's that's very uh, noble and also very visionary i think um and looking maybe at... maybe yeah. sometimes when we when there is community of like the satanic they uh, <laughs> making murder or suicide other people, revenge of them, something else, then we know that uh, who is this in the real life, we can share to the police in the real life too. So it means that some uh, someday it will be, yes, I don't know, it will be huge uh, like that. Yeah, that's totally true. I think yeah. Um, just to yeah, just to sum up before you want to close, maybe I think the the metaverse, as Irizan said, and also as has been said, uh, with the Facebook move, just like I don't know, last two days, uh, I think it's going to open a lot of uh, mainstream followers, uh, people that not yet too familiar with NFT and crypto world in general so it's only good for us in terms of the awareness that our world that we are trying to build and we are so 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 early uh, as we say it and i don't think we have to be afraid with uh what what our car current situation are i think we have to be very opt optimistic looking at, at the future because we are in in it for the long run and when the big guys like Facebook and mm, I can I hear also a lot of new new big companies it isn't maybe no big companies also plan to move to the metaverse it's only going to be good for us so yeah Solcops is here for the long run and yeah I think it's it's hopefully it's going to be a very good investment for you guys and yeah I I, I can't wait for the pre-sale date fee. Me too. Ooh. Can't wait. Ooh. But ner excited. And you guys will be the part of our history. Through. I believe in that. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully. So uh before we close this, guys, if uh, you wanna say something, just chime in. Uh before we close, I I wanted to say that we did some adjustments after discussing with the majors and colonels. We um we adjusted the batch system. So for one minting allocation, you only need to collect two badges and then you become a sergeant. Before it was four. So we wanted to be, um, to be like motivating for, for, for new officers that joined Discord. Um, we wanted to make it uh, more, motiva more, more motivating. Um, by just collecting two badges, you already got one minting allocations. But then it gets harder once you go up the rank five badges and then nine and then 14 and 20 before it was four eight 12 16 20 but now we adjust it a little bit make it easier at the beginning for the for the first minting allocation and then as, as you go up the rank it gets harder and hope hope uh, that will get us to, um, 
to have more new officers coming in and uh, engaging with the community. And I'd also want to thank um, the um, all, all the all 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 the members who have been helping us, the commanders, the mods, helping us by welcoming the new officers, um, telling them how to get the hang of our server. I really appreciate it. And um, yeah, uh, yeah, thank you so much. Um, before we close, the, the AMA badge will be posted by Bishop. You're going to need to react to the, to the post. Hold up. Bishop is going to do it soon. Bishop is going to announce it and then you're going to react. So then you can uh, claim your badge. But uh, just give it a little more time until you really had the badge as your role. Okay. Should we close this for everyone and for Indonesian speakers? If you want to stay, we can have um, a short 15 minutes for the recap. Yes. There we go. The, the announcement is up. The announcement is up. Um, the Mechabot, you react to the badge icon there to get your AMA badge. Okay. Not the fingers. <laughs> the badge. No, not the fingers. Badge. Okay. Um, uh, Bishop, um, how long are we going to put this up until? Yeah, we, we'll, we'll notify you. So make sure you react there at the announcement, the mecha bot. Okay, guys, um, yeah, that's about it. Anyone want to add their last statement before we close the AMA? Not maybe. No. Okay. Um, thank you, guys, for the English speakers. Right. Yeah. If if you want to. Uh, uh, stay for those Indonesian speakers. I will recap in Bahasa Indonesia. Okay. Kita switch Bahasa Indonesia ya, Bapak-Bapak? Yep. Okay. Um, tadi uh, saya mau merangkum saja. Jadi harga minting price kita 0,068 Ethereum plus gas fee. Gas fee ini juga harus dibayar dan sifatnya fluktuatif. Itu, itu harga pre-sale tanggal 16 November. Untuk tanggal 18 November itu adalah public sale kita di mana harganya berbeda, harganya adalah 0,08 Ethereum plus gas fee juga. Begitu. Itu yang pertama, yang kedua hmm, lore tadi cerita um, cerita sedikit tentang Socops. Um, background story terus um, nanti kalau ada Um, yang bisa kita translate tapi lumayan panjang cuma nanti kita pikirin hmm, nah yang ketiga tadi companion kita ngelepas companion kedua itu sebagai uh, kita udah ngelepas yang pertama kan companionnya itu adalah yang anjing yang kedua itu yang eagle tadi nah nanti ada lagi yang ketiga nah ini tiga-tiganya companion ini akan di randomize jadi kalau kalian minting satu NFT Uh, kalian akan dapat companion salah satu dari companion ini dan itu nggak bisa milih akan di randomize di drop di di wallet kalian tapi tidak langsung nanti di bulan Desember nanti tunggu announcementnya lagi um, ya yeah. tapi kalau misalnya kalian minting lebih dari satu misalnya tiga empat lima dan seterusnya itu uh, kalian akan dapat companion sejumlah berapa NFT yang kalian minting gitu. Um, kita ada adjustment terhadap sistem batchnya tadi. Saya juga udah bilang kalau untuk dapat satu whitelist hanya butuh dua batch. Jadi um, bisa lewat chatting, bisa lewat um, apa lewat games yang kita lagi lakukan atau trivia dan semua aktivitas ada di Discord. Jadi kumpulin batch supaya bisa dapat whitelist. Cuman untuk uh, whitelist untuk satu untuk bisa minting satu NFT itu cuma butuh dua batch. Nanti yang berikutnya akan lebih susah semakin naik uh, 
rankingnya semakin tinggi nanti makin lebih susah batch yang dibutuhkan lebih banyak gitu nanti um, uh, nanti kalau ada yang mau ditanyakan bisa langsung di channel Indonesia nanti bisa kita bantu jawab yang terakhir invite contest uh, Invite contest ini akan kita buka besok. Jadi kalau yang sistem yang sebelumnya nanti akan kita reward. Tapi mulai besok itu akan kita reset semua invite dari nol lagi. Habis itu kita pakai sistem tracker yang baru untuk melakukan invite contest. Nanti announcement-nya akan saya lepas habis AMA. Gitu. Oke. Okay. Uh, ada yang mau tanya dalam bahasa Indonesia? Silakan, mungkin ah ini dia. Ya, hai, ups, uh, coba diterima supaya bisa naik ke atas di jet. Kebetulan dia salah satu yang request untuk sesi bahasa Indonesia. Ada beberapa. Halo, halo. ya halo. Oke, okay, mau bertanya? Silakan. Uh, dua sampai tiga hal yang pertama itu mau tanya tentang ini kira-kira uh, misalkan kalau cap kapten itu kan mendapatkan tiga tiga mintingnya tiga presale nah untuk presale nya itu random atau uh, kita bisa milih maksudnya NFT nya yang bisa kita pilih iya yeah. Oh, enggak semuanya di random jadi nanti misalnya uh, ke, misalnya kamu captain kamu dapat tiga presale nanti pas tanggal mintingnya kamu minting tiga nanti itu uh, tidak akan langsung terlihat NFT yang kamu dapat apa oke okay. uh, jadi misalnya uh, nggak bakal tahu itu kelasnya common atau rare atau epic atau legendary nah nanti setelah presale akan ada public sale dulu, which is tanggal 18 November. Nanti setelah public sale, baru nanti um, NFT-nya kelihatan. Ada ada istilahnya reveal itu nanti setelah public sale, baru nanti setelah itu kelihatan ininya NFT-nya begitu. Oh oke. Okay. Uh, berarti yang pre-sale tanggal 16 itu di luar dari uh, si bedis ini ya? Sorry, gimana? Yang uh, ini kan kita minting dapat resell gitu ya, si kita dapat whitelist. Mm -hmm. nah, itu setelah kita tahunya itu randomnya itu setelah tanggal 18 berarti. Iya yeah, betul. Nah, yang tanggal 16-nya itu berarti kita beli resellnya itu bagaimana? Eh, uh, ya yeah, anda minting. Yeah nanti dia hanya muncul sebagai um, gambar yang um, seperti shadow gitu ya. Mas Chris mungkin bisa um, ngejelasin tampilannya sebelum reveal gimana. Cuman transaksi Anda kalau memang Anda benar minting dan bayar gas fee, nanti itu transaksinya akan sukses. Gitu, akan terlihat Anda sudah minting, um, transaksinya sukses, Anda sudah dapat Um, NFT-nya, tapi metadatanya itu Cuman, belum muncul gambarnya. Tapi transaksi hmm, sudah. Tapi random gitu ya? Iya, yeah, random. Kalau yang public itu random juga? Enggak? Iya, uh, yeah, uh -uh, random juga. Oh, oke. Okay. Gacha gitu ya. Nah, uh, dari NFT ini kan uh, kalau di roadmap-nya itu ada games. Uh, developing games ya? Iya. Yeah kira-kira misalkan uh, misalnya mendapatkan yang rare gitu itu bisa uh, dipakai menjadi avatar di games nanti atau enggak di terintegrasi gitu enggak ya Sani mau bantu sorry uh, tadi agak terkat out Kenapa game ya? Uh, uh, antara game dan NFT si gambar ini uh, terintegrasi nyatu gitu enggak, Pak? Yes. 
Jadi nanti oh, yang nanti ya. jadi uh-huh. gini. Halo. Iya gimana pak? Kedengaran jadi uh, ntar NFT-nya bisa dipakai di game ini. Oh. Oke. Oke oke. Ada yang mau ditanya lagi si Jeb? Nah, itu itu dulu sih paling sama ini sih kalau eh uh, ini. ETH kan lagi lagi naik naiknya ya. Uh, aku setuju sih yang ama yang dibilang di grup kalau misalkan nunggu ETH rada ke bawah biar kita bisa beli rada di bawah gitu. Kalau nggak tahu juga sih itu nggak bisa kalian kontrol juga lah ya. Iya betul. Oke okay, oke okay. itu aja sih. Makasih. Oke, okay, terima kasih. Kanrir. Halo. Halo, Fri. Hai. Halo. Halo, Halo. everyone. Ya. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, ya, prosesnya yeah. abis driving. Uh, ini bahasa Indonesia ya? Oke. Okay. Silahkan. Uh, Indonesia boleh. Ya. Yeah. Uh, pertanyaan terkait companions juga kan so one package kita dapat satu NFT dan companion ya berarti ya uh, uh, if we want to sell it uh, we, uh, we need to sell it both atau kita bisa is a, have a different pricing jadi NFT-nya sendiri companion-nya sendiri so we have like two NFT atau atau seperti apa terus yang kedua uh, mungkin tadi saya salah dengar ya ketika nanti di public itu berarti yang beli di public nggak dapat companion ya atau memang uh, basically you sold it in package gitu that's all sih uh, silakan Sani ya boleh Rob mau Rob ikat Rob uh, <laughs> tadi pertanyaan pertama yang uh, dapat companion ya uh, yeah. jadi yang minting itu uh, yang pre-sale yang ikut whitelist itu akan dapat satu companion akan dikasih random hmm. kan total kita ada empat type of companion ya empat tipe companion yeah. yang kita akan kasih random uh, ke yang pre-sale selama, uh, selama kalian memegang si uh, so, si soul cup NFT itu itu di different collection nantinya jadi kalau mau dijual itu juga bisa Cuman pertanyaannya, nanti pas ada sesuatu, itu membutuhkan companion kayaknya. Oh, oke. Okay. Ya. Okay. So, <laughs> so better to hold it ya. <laughs> Enggak juga, kalau mau dijual juga boleh. Oke, oke, oke. Sesuatu. Pertanyaannya, is it, is it wise? Gitu loh. <laughs> ada sesuatu ya. You should give some hint ya, Pak. <laughs> 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 Oke, okay. and, 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 and yang terus yang uh, uh, ini ya public ya public sale, you should have uh, you should hold two companion, eh sorry two NFT dua NFT dulu uh, uh, di sampai tanggal tertentu nanti baru di drop companion yang random. Oke, okay. kalau in public so you need to buy two NFT, Betul. terus kamu dapat satu gitu ya. Betul. Oh, oke, oke. Jadi so, kalau kamu dua, berarti kan kalau empat ya di public ya. Gitu betul. Kan? Bayangin kalau okay. kalau 0 dapat lima, ya kan? Uh, berarti dapat lima companion. Mungkin aja bisa beda-beda tipenya semua. Hmm. Oke. Okay. Tapi nggak okay. langsung ya, maksudnya yeah. uh, air yeah. kan akan terjadi di yeah, bulan. Ya, akan ter waktu ya, kayaknya. Hmm. Ya. Di se- okay. In Desember ya. Oke. Oke, gadget. Thanks. Oke, okay. thank you, thank you all. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Oke, okay. cukup nggak ada yang nanya lagi kayaknya. Terima kasih, thank you. Um, once again, if you haven't react, react. Kalau yang belum react tadi di announcement, diklik aja icon icon apa tadi sebentar saya cek. Oke, oh, ya yeah. icon badge-nya diklik. supaya nanti kamu dapat uh, batch AMA-nya gitu aja. Oke, okay, sekian. Terima kasih semuanya. Thank you all. Thank you V. Thank you.
Thank you, thank you, everyone. Thank you, thank thank you, everyone. Thank you, thank you, everyone. Go. Thank you, you Bye. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Chris. Thank Bye. you, Adri. Bye.